Happy fall, Hampton Roads! Rachel Beasley here with That Fit Team. Wanted to give you some of my favorite things to do here in the fall. If you're new to the area, or maybe you've just been stuck under a rock and you haven't been able to do anything for a while and you're ready to go out. So now is the time. It's beautiful outside. It's one of the things I love about the fall. Makes up for the fact that I'm a little salty that summer's over because it's my favorite season of the year. But I mean, who doesn't love beautiful 50s, 60s temperatures with the sunshine? and pumpkins everywhere, fall things, the beautiful leaves. So let's dive into it. So it's fall, the weather is a little more enjoyable. It's not like 100 degrees outside anymore. You're not gonna melt just walking to your car. So now is the time to get out and play. There's so many things to do here in Hampton Roads actually that really don't have anything to do with like fall festivals or Oktoberfest or Halloween or Thanksgiving, but I'm gonna touch on a few of those. So not in any particular order because that would be really hard to prioritize my favorite things to do here in Hampton Roads. But I'm gonna start with the outdoors. So there is a couple of parks in the area that are actually super fun in the fall time. You not only have beautiful scenery and leaves to enjoy, but you actually get to like get down and dirty in, in actual nature. So you gotta check out Bennett's Creek Park. There's a Frisbee golf course there. It's 18 holes. So even if you can't play Frisbee, you can throw a Frisbee at a target and hope to get there and eventually you'll hit the target even if it takes you like seven or eight tries. But if you're like one of those professionals out there, you have a backpack going on and you've got like seven different Frisbees in your backpack, you just might want to make sure that you hit this spot. Another thing to do at Bennett's Creek Park is, I mean, the kids can play around. There's huge fields. You could play flag football, get some friends together. They have volleyball courts. They actually have a free fishing pier and a free boat slip. So there's lots to do at this beautiful park in in Suffolk, Virginia. If you want to stay outdoors, go to Virginia Beach and check out First Landing Park. This is a beautiful state park here and you've got beautiful beaches along the Chesapeake Bay, but on the other side of Shore Drive is miles and miles of beautiful walking trails or biking trails you're sure to enjoy right now during the fall weather when you don't have those mosquitoes to worry about. So enjoy your time out there in that beautiful, beautiful scenery. Another thing you've got to check out is the adventure Adventure Park in Virginia Beach. This place is so much fun. It's like a ropes obstacle course in the trees and there's zip lines and it's super, super fun. Around this time of the year, they actually start doing, I think like a Halloween theme and they do lights at night. So it's certainly something to try. And the obstacle course is for all ages and all like skill difficulty levels. So if you've never done it before, you could try it out and know that you'll be super safe and have a lot of fun. So still things to do outside below. It's October. You've got to go see Hollow Scream at Bush Gardens in Williamsburg, Virginia. They um, they really do it up. All the scary things and scary faces. I actually particularly don't go at this time of the year because I don't like scary things. But if you like to be scared or if you are really into Halloween and October, then you absolutely have to go. You not only get to ride all of the rides at Bush Gardens, but you might get a couple of scares and that's a lot of fun for some people. Now that we're talking about scares, there are so many really cool like haunted hay rides around the area or um, haunted mazes to walk through. All right, so Hunt Club Farm is a lot of fun at this time of the year also. If you have littles, they have hay rides and pumpkin patches and mums and all the fall things to go see. They even have a really cool petting zoo at Hunt Club Farm. But at night during the Halloween season, they have a really, really awesome haunted hay ride or haunted maze that you can go through. Again, I've never been, I don't like scary things, but my kids have gone, I have a lot of friends have gone and they always talk about how much fun it is. So Hunt Club Farm in Virginia Beach is certainly a place you should stop and see. Speaking of farms, this is actually the time of the year that I love to go and check out farmer's markets or little local farms here in the like Pungo, York County and tons of them in Isla White and Smithfield area. If you pull out your phone and pretty much Google local farm or local farmer market, you'll find a couple of really, really good ones. A lot of them have pumpkin patches at this time of year, corn mazes, and really, really beautiful shops so you can see what locally happens here at our local farms. Darden Farms is one of my favorites. I took the kids there from probably their ages of like three to seven or eight years old every single year, and they loved it every single time. We actually looked forward to it every single year. They also have a little petting zoo. So 
absolutely please check out that place. It's the most adorable little family farm. Actually, it's not little, it's big, but it's still adorable. Guys, it's October, so it's like Oktoberfest, woohoo! So if you really like beer and you're into breweries, you're sure to find a brewery close by that's having some type of October festival. Um, in fact, the Beer Garden has a really, really good one in Portsmouth that we typically check out every single year. Also, I highly suggest checking out your local parks because not only Bennett's Creek Park is amazing, but there's Nike Park. They do this really, really cool Oktoberfest and fall festival there. A lot of the counties in the area do fall festivals as well. And you know what? You never know. You might be able to stop by a church festival or a school festival and find some really, really fun games for you and the family. That reminds me, we have a newsletter here at That the Team. If you would like to check it out, subscribe to it or just get your first copy of it. We'd love to send it to you. We always put in local events on the newsletter. So we'll make sure we include some of those October events for you. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. You find it useful. If you have things that I didn't mention here that you love to do here in Hampton Roads in the fall season, please let us know. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to check them out too. So we'll see you guys next time. I'm Rachel Beasley with That Fit Team, professionals in real estate and passionate about people and the fall and summer. Bye.